It's tails. Luca? It's tails, it's your choice. You upgrade. Luca, to upgrade. One of the matches of the opening round, on paper at least. Sean Murphy, who has been in terrific form, albeit that he has come up against players in even better form in recent times, but he's been knocking on the door in terms of adding to his already impressive list of silverware. Luca Brassell, as the guys have already alluded to, hasn't Thank really got you. going at all yet this season. Perhaps this is his week, we shall see. Did make his first ranking final, Brussel, earlier this year at the German Masters, last season, of course, where he lost to Martin Gould. And there was a sense then, I think, Neil, that perhaps he was on the cusp of moving up to a new level, working with Chris Henry. His work ethic seemed to have improved by his own admission. He hadn't been putting in the hard yards on the practice table, but it's not quite happened for him since Germany. No, uh, funnily enough, nor has it done for the man who beat him, Martin Gould. He's struggled a bit since then, but. As far as Brussel is concerned, I think he's eventually going to come through. Such a precocious junior player. He had all kinds of messages coming out of Belgium. What a talent he is. It's all there, but in some ways, you learn more from a few defeats. It makes you a better and stronger player. And I think he's at that point where, you know, he's got to sort of uh, maybe change a few things in his game because the talent is there for all to see. But this is a tough game. He's. It's been a bit unlucky with the draws, I have to say. It was the same in the previous. Goodness me, that was a that was a plant and a half that he knocked in there. Almost every what? red moved. I was going to say about the draw. I mean, obviously it's the top 16 in the world. You see that plant again, and everyone else is kind of thrown in the draw. So Luca Brussel could have had a very low-ranked player, but in the last event, the English. He had to play Ali Carter, which was tough, and tough for Carter as well. And he's run into one here in Sean Murphy, so draw has not been particularly kind to him. Red split far and wide, but not ideal position on a colour for Brazil. Five. Well, he's very unlucky to finish there. I mean, that really is uh, the, the worst place imaginable that you could finish where anywhere else he's on the that bolt color or the blue or the pink, but he's now behind the lot. Not only without a pot available, but now on earth does he keep it safe? Uh, Red's all close to the right middle bag. He keeps looking towards the green. He maybe can just get to the edge of it or something. Bit of a snooker plays nightmare, that previous shot. He's taken a minute and he's no closer to coming up with the answer here. He's not a slow player by any means, but sometimes shots take an awful lot of thought. And occasionally nothing really springs up in your mind as to what to play. You can just get to the green. Oh, that is a fabulous shot. He was in lots of trouble there. And that was worth the wait. 
that's one way to retrieve the situation. Fabulous pot. Had very few Eight. alternatives there, Brussel, with Reds waiting for Murphy if he made a mistake. Nine. Currently ranked at 30 in the world. He has been as high as 26. That was earlier this year. Well, he's recovered the situation very well. 17. Eighteen. Well, how about that? That is a pair of shoes. Well, at least I think they're shoes, but they look good anyway. <laughs> they're probably ridiculously expensive. It takes something special to put a pair of Judd Trump shoes in the shape, and I think Brussel has succeeded. So he's walking the walk for sure. Can he talk the talk? against Murphy today. This is a promising start. Well, it arrived from nothing. The plot he went for didn't even seem to be that he was on it properly. He plowed the cue ball into the bunch. It's an extraordinary way to start a break. The red's flying in all directions. Break to one. Start a break somewhere, but 32. Here it is. I mean, that, that was such a difficult shot. Look at all the other reds flying around. Well, it was the brilliant recovery shot on the green which enabled him to get in for this opportunity. 38. Here it is. That was so much more difficult than it looked. Yeah, I mean, it's a shot he didn't really want to play, Philip, but he had absolutely no choice and there was no safety shot on. Thirty-nine. It's pretty eventful. He made a break, many better breaks of thirty-nine than this, and he's still going. And he's a very good player, left-handed. He's. Playing this shot left-handed. Not quite, maybe in O'Sullivan's league, but I know that he's knocked in big breaks solely with his opposite hand. I don't know how worried he is about the black being safe. 
I just shouldn't think he's that concerned. 53. Best to leave it there, and should he break down, that's Murphy's problem. Because he's closing in on making this opening visit a winning one. And still, of course, five reds left, 67 on. But in potting this, the remaining goes down by eight, and he'll be more than that in front. So any talk of being 60. a bit rusty and the fact that he's been away on holiday, well, it seems the break has done him good. Seventy-nine. Well, this is an effort to get the red in play. It's a great try. Unfortunately, barring something that he pulls out of the hat, it will get break Eight comes to an end. But what a start! Look up, Gasol. Eighty-three. Thank you, second frame, Sean Murphy to break. The opening day of the brand new Northern Ireland Open live from Belfast. And Sean Murphy playing catch up after a superb opening salvo from Luca Priscilla. Break of 83. Extremely well constructed, not straightforward. Brilliant recovery green to keep the break going after he looked as though he might leave them all up for Murphy. And not the best break off from the magician. Early chance for Priscilla in the second. Gave that a mighty crash again. He's pretty attacking mindset today, but he doesn't want to overhit too much. He, he really belted this. And we saw the good from Luca Brussel in the first frame, but of course the problem is he does give opportunities to players. Could it be that Sean Murphy isn't going to take that one? Surprised, I think, by the lack of a backspin he got on that shot. Sean Murphy, one. Someone of uh, his technique, cue ball didn't really go anywhere. Murphy has been a picture of consistency this season. Started the campaign with a semi-final appearance at the Indian Open quarter-final at the International Championship where he lost that brilliant match on the final black to Judd Trump. Semi-finalist at the China Championship where he lost to an inspired performance from Stuart Bingham in a final frame decider. So he's been a little bit unlucky, Murphy, to run into players at the very peak of their powers. But he's been practising very hard. He feels as though his game is in good shape, as he told Neil ahead of the match today. Well, I think you rarely get anything but positive sound bites and a, a good outlook from Sean Such Murphy. You know, he's got a young 
son recently and his wife Elaine. So, you know, things have changed in his life, but he's always upbeat and he always looks as if he fancies beating anybody when he walks out, doesn't he? Yes, and I think he's a player who embraces the fact that the calendar is so cram packed now with snooker. Murphy told me before this match that he's a player who prefers to be playing. Some players like to take a bit of time out to work on one or two things and get on the practice table. But Murphy says he's at his best when he's playing matches and the more he can play, the happier he is. So he won't be phased by the tremendous number of tournaments available now. Meanwhile, Luca Purcell goes for another very difficult part. And uh, he's given a half chance back. He got close to this, but degree of difficulty, extreme. I would say that Sean Murphy is finding this table a little bit heavy because I think he thought he'd screw across the front of the, the black rather than go into it. I think he's a little surprised by it. It'll take him just a fraction more time to acclimatise to conditions. Yellow wall. Sean Murphy, one. Just the fifth time they've met in total this pair. Murphy having won three of the previous four, but their last meeting came earlier this year and it went the way of Brussel. That was also a best of seven at the Welsh Open. He won 4-2. Murphy yet to settle. Of course, it's only a best of seven frame match, and if Luca Purcell could get in and get a few here and take himself towards a 2 0 lead, then he would fancy winning this match. It's a long way off, but this is a half chance already. Let's see where it can take this break. And of the two players, he seems to have adapted better to. What we're playing on this week. Okay. Table's a touch heavy, I think. Four. And that's quite unusual these days because generally speaking conditions tend 11. to be lightning fast they certainly were in the recent events in Asia Da Ching and Huang Zhao but if you've not seen an awful lot of this Belgian player Luca Brussel you already Working out, no doubt. No, he's a very good player, very gifted player. Twenty. Chance to just nudge into the bunch here. There's the red close to the left middle, which of course might be his fallback red if nothing else becomes available. But there's plenty available now. Great opportunity. Twenty-seven.
28. Just put himself on a little bit more pressure on this black. I think he's queuing over the other red, but the table on the right there, which makes it a missable shot if he isn't careful. No problem. Thirty-five. Thirty-six. What a chance this is to double his lead. Forty-three. Forty-four. Well, he's just got to use his loaf here because those two reds up the table. He can almost win the frame by taking those with colours. He hasn't got to play any flashy cannons. It's the red also two down from the pink, which is available. So he needs to just finish it off now. Fifty-one. The last part of this break to make it the frame safe. Fifty-two. Checking to see whether the red below the pink pots cleanly as well from, from where he is. I think it does. The options are endless here. And he needs red any colour. 59. 2-0 lead against the odds. 60. And it was that brilliant pot on the green, wasn't it, in the opening frame? Had Brussel missed that? This match could already have a very different flavour, but Murphy has spent most of his time in that chair so far. Looks as though he's going 2 0 down. 67. This frame already safe. This red to make absolutely sure. But he's queuing very nicely, isn't he? He looks very focused on the job in hand. He knows he has to play exceptionally well to beat Murphy today. And at the moment, Brussel is doing just that. No, Philip, he's playing beautifully. You're absolutely right. And of course, a lot of people thought with one or two players not here 75. this week in Belfast that you look to people like Murphy as possible tournament winners. Of course, you can win them anyway, but it helps 76. when a few of your contemporaries are not there. But at the moment, it looks as, as if he's got a real game on his hands. 83 in the first frame as Murphy ponders his predicament. 82. 82 in this one and counting. He's made just one century so far this season, Brussel. This is a good chance to make it two. 83. Oh, shame. But an eighty terrific play nonetheless from the Belgian, who's upsetting the form book so far. A brace of 80 breaks, doubles his lead, 2 0. Third frame, Luca Bressal to break. What a start. From the 21 year old Belgian. Two breaks of 83. Sean Murphy has potted just two balls in the opening two frames. Brussel already halfway to a place in round two. 50 shot options here, playing off the side of the bunch, or that red below it perhaps, might be a shot to nothing. The most important part is the cue ball, where it is now actually. That's a good shot, 
covered plenty of reds there. Already Murphy at the stage where he knows he can ill afford to make too many more mistakes. Not that he's made a lot so far. He's just been frozen out. But 2-0 down in a race to four is a sticky situation. I guess that's what he's got to start doing more of, getting Luca Brussel up against that bulk cushion, because clearly he's potting well when given half a chance. a great kiss on the yellow ball it's covered again many reds and how often that seems to be the case when you're playing well and things are going your way you get the rub of the green to go with it on another day he'd have left Murphy with this opening red just a reminder you can ask our panel of experts any question Concerning the second leg of the Home Nations, the Northern Ireland Open, Dennis Taylor, Jimmy White, Ronnie O'Sullivan, of course, here as well this week. The old folds here in the commentary box. Hashtag Home Nations for any questions about this tournament, the season, prospects for the remainder of the campaign, who might win, who's in form, who's struggling. Keep your comments coming. A good start from Luca Brussel. He's hardly missed a ball actually. Pot success is already very high. 96%, and that's 51 pots from 53. He missed a pink at the end of the last frame when the frame was over, which didn't amount to anything. So in live play, he's barely missed anything worth seeing. And Murphy has only attempted three pots, missing one. So he's missed one ball and he's 2 0 down. That's the way it goes sometimes, doesn't matter how good you are. If your opponent's monopolising the table, you are powerless to do anything about it. Such a big frame, this one, though. If Brussel were to win this as well, then Murphy really would have his work cut out. And again, a good result for the Belgian, following the safety error. Perfect strength on the cue ball from Murphy.
Well, great and tight this time. I don't think anything much would come of it, but it just goes even further to confirm how well he's seeing them. He'll slip in a good safety shot here. Even Brussel isn't going to keep this break going or even try to. Look up, I guess, one. Eight tables in use, of course, here in Belfast to get through all of the matches. Here are some of the results so far today. Plenty more still to come, of course, here on the main match table. The Rocket and the Whirlwind both in action later. Joe Perry already a winner today. Pretty good match on the other table as well, currently, with uh, Zhu Yulong and Matthew Stevens. 3 all. It was Zhu Long in front, and he looked like winning 4 2, but Matthew Stevens, 50 odd behind, cleared up to win the previous. Matthew, another player who's been struggling for any sort of form recently. He's fallen quite significantly down the rankings, the former UK and Masters champion, twice World Championship finalist. Another terrific shot, and he's got position to go with it. What a shot, and what a result. But who's to say he doesn't deserve it? I mean, he's hit this as hard as you can hit a ball, I should think. I mean, he didn't really know that he was going to finish there on the pink, but it's given him this chance once again. Seven. Eight. Well, the reds below the, the pink, which of course is on the black spot, are going to be a problem. They're quite difficult to avoid. They use a lot of screw to get away from those. He's played it very nicely. Didn't hit it too hard, otherwise the spin might not have gripped. He's still going to hit the reds that way. 14. 15. As we've explained with the Luca Brussel, no, nothing really since after he reached the final of the German Masters. He actually got into the final of the snooker shootout as well at that period of time. But it was never going to be long that he was out of the limelight because he's such a good player whatever it was that was stopping him he seems to have freed himself of that problem 21. here he's been as good as anybody here in this first two and a half frames 22. a number of first round exits this season as colin alluded to at the start of our program and just one round of 32 appearance that was at the european masters Hard to fathom when you see him queuing as well as he is right now. Yeah, even that shot, screwing it round perfectly on the next red. He's got to keep his concentration together. Twenty-nine. And Murphy sitting in his chair must be wondering what he's done to deserve this. Luca Brussel playing at his best, just as a number of players have been against that man in recent times. He could scarcely have done anything about this so far. 36. And there is confirmation of the dominance of Brussel. 37. Now, here's the problem again. He didn't get on the pink perfectly, and those two reds could come into play here. Now, does he play the cannon? And develop them, or does he try and avoid them? Thirty-seven. 
Fold three. Fold four. Luca needs to be a little careful. Of course, the pink spot is now available, so won't go on the black spot. He doesn't want to snook himself on that red that is in the middle of the table. This match is just an example, Philip, of how snooker is such a difficult game for players. When you're sitting in your chair, there is literally nothing you can do. Whereas other sports, you've got some way of right of reply almost. It's a real mental test, isn't it, in this situation? Yes, and of 51. course, it doesn't really matter who's sitting there. Greatest player of all time, or whatever, but as long as the, the guy who's at the table isn't playing the player, the guy sitting down is helpless. Brussel's pop percentage success now up to 97, that is sky high. He's barely put a foot wrong. And Murphy has barely had a pot to go at. 55. 56. Once again, pretty close to the winning line in this third frame. Just 67 remaining. So this red will suffice for Brussel and Murphy will be at the snooker's required stage again. 62. 63. Yeah, I mean, I interviewed him before the game, and he, an easy expression, he's been running into a few brick walls lately. In other words, lost to John Higgins last week, who became champion of champions. Week before, he was unlucky as well. 69. I mean, he's run into another one here, one that seemed less likely. 70. Nothing in the form book to suggest that Purcell was going to play this well today. But he's underlining just what a talent he is and what potential he has. He is only 21, remember. 74. 75. He's been around quite a while now, of course, when he made that record at the Crucible, becoming the youngest player ever to play at the World Championship. That was back in 2012. Quarter finalist at the UK Championship the same year. 79. Semi-finals of the Welsh last year. And the final appearance in Berlin 80. earlier this year. But in between, quite a lot of disappointing results as well. His third 80 break, though, at this match. It's been remarkable stuff. 84. And once again, the opening red was a cruncher. That, uh, he hit as almost as hard as he could. I'm a bit lucky to land on the pink. Not looked back since. 90. Finds the brown in an unorthodox position as he eyes a possible century. It's not a bad positional shot. 92. Well, Philip, it's absolutely brilliant snooker. By any stands, this is absolutely stunning 95. performance. And he's playing all the shots in the brook here. Just the blue then. 99. For what would be a very well merited century. Sublime snooker from the Belgian. The crowd enjoying it. What a talent he is. Maddeningly inconsistent, maybe, but when he plays like this, he is a joy to watch. And Murphy rendered powerless.
110. What a stunning clearance of 117 from Luca Brassell to go with that pair of 83 breaks. Sean Murphy reduced to mere spectator. Brassell on fire and just a frame away from victory. He leads 3-0. Frame four, Sean Murphy to break. Well, Sean Murphy has previous when it comes to great comebacks. He once beat Ali Carter from 8-4 down in a UK Championship semi-final. He beat Matthew Stevens from 12-7 down at the Crucible to win 13-12 once. But given how brilliantly Luca Brussel has played so far, even Murphy might struggle from here. Brussel with breaks of 83-83 and that sublime clearance of 117. He is playing fabulous snooker, Neil. He really is. Just had a message, actually, from one of the game's great historians, Roger Lee, who, of course, has the heritage rooms. If you've ever been to the Crucible in, in um, recent years, not so much in the last couple, but he said the heritage rooms where he has cues and much memorabilia on the, this great game. He reckons that Luca likes the big stage, the TV spotlight scenario. That's why he's playing so superbly. I'd agree with you, Roger. Sometimes, you know, the qualifiers, little cubicles and all of that, and then we see the best of certain players. Could be that's why Judd Trump, when he got that initial breakthrough, became the player he's now. Brussel has missed just two balls in the entire match. He's at 98% pot success rate. Sean Murphy has potted just two. This is to be his third. And that's the problem, isn't it? It wasn't an easy shot at the best of times, but when you've had so little table time, that much harder. And he's left Brussel with an easy starter as well. Too high. And he's away One. again. Yes, can he keep it going? That's the question. Because sometimes you can eventually see your concentration getting broken. It's difficult to get it back, but he's been in Six. the zone in this match so far. For a snooker player, that's a very nice place to be. Seven. And, of course, in a longer match, he's best of nines. You have the mid-session break to sometimes clear your mind for losing or think about winning too early if you're the man in front. This is just played out straight away, this best of seven. No breaks. And he's looked at the two reds close together. 14. And he also might think about the one by the pink. No. Well, at last, he does tell us he'd actually missed balls in. Philip, occasionally the machine 14. breaks down. <laughs> well, just his third potting error of the match. Didn't hesitate in taking it on. He's chock full of confidence right now. But again, nothing straightforward for Murphy. Well, he hasn't got any cover this time. The red is available and a little on the straight side. 
Might have a very slight angle. Sean Murphy has gone 29 minutes sitting in his chair without a pot. Hardly played any shots at all in that time. One. That is pretty good. Top side of the blue from where he was was a good effort. Body language would Six. suggest that that's gone awry. And there's confirmation. Not on his intended red. Yeah, I wanted to have one to the middle. He was looking to the right middle, but I think now that he's moved up to the bulk end, he's sizing up the safety shot and that will add to his frustration, I think, from where he was. Nothing goes there. Sean Murphy, six. What does Sean do now? We know he's an attacking player. But uh, how much does he fancy anything at long range? Been uh, caught completely cold in this match. He scored just eight points in the entire match, Murphy. That was a tough road. At least he didn't leave it. No, not that red, but again, so with a possible red to the right corner. This is not an easy one. Green's kind of distracting him a little bit. It's the kind of shot he has so far been knocking in. That's an interesting choice of shot. It kind of tells you that he's fully aware that he just can't keep putting balls. There was something about that red to right corner that he thought was difficult. Sensible move, that, I think. We know that his strength is potting, but occasionally, just occasionally, 
You have to rein yourself in and say, that's one shot too many. And that's when he'll become a better player than he is now. As long as he never takes away what he's got, he's a great attacking player. That's the old shark shot, as he used to call it in London. Great white. And that's kind of what he played there more than anything else. <laughs> Never heard that one before. Purcell well aware that Murphy's more than capable of coming back at him in this match if he gets his cue arm going, gets a few shots under his belt, which he's had precious few of so far. So he needs to keep that cue ball in a safe place, as he's done here. kind of table one mistake from either player could mean it's end of frame it's really there's very little difficult on there well, he holds his head I don't know if he's left the red to the left middle it doesn't look like he has so he shouldn't be too disappointed with that Murphy can see the edge of the red, but clearly not enough to contemplate potting it. Sean now looking for somewhere that he can hide the cue ball. Somewhere down by the right corner pocket. I think he was looking at for a moment, but even then, it, there isn't anywhere particularly safe. And he's fully aware that one more mistake could be his last shot. Where he's got the cue now, if you get anywhere back there, it's behind the cue ball where it's currently lying, well, that would be OK. Cubel's travelling too far. It's a very difficult shot to play, but options for thin on the ground. One. 
was very well played. Good control of the cue ball there. Well, I'm afraid the situation has been taken out of his hands sitting there. You'd have got astronomical odds on those stats at the start of this match. Sean Murphy's been in great form. There's a bit of wildlife getting a bird's eye view of proceedings. Brussel has barely been able to buy a victory this season and yet absolutely dominating proceedings so far. But the job's not quite done yet. This is a good chance, though, to at least build a handsome lead in the frame he needs for victory. Seven. Well, he's eyeing up the pink, but it would only be because he couldn't control the cue ball. The blue's a lot easier. Might have to just nudge into a red or two here. And that's worked out perfectly as well. Everything he does turns to gold. 12. 13. Murphy would have been many people's pick, I'm sure, to be a possible champion this week, having played so consistently well this season. 21. It feels as though it's his time to be winning big again, but he might be bowing out at the first hurdle, having scored less than 10 points in four frames. Extraordinary. Just for once, that was not played perfectly. I think he hit the black a little bit thick into the pocket, so the cue ball didn't travel. He's got to play a slight recovery. You get to the red to the middle, it's not bad. I've got a feeling at first he never saw that he was on that one, because he had a little rueful smile to himself. And although he's in such a commanding position, Brussel, he might still be feeling one or two nerves inside of such a fine victory as this would be. Because he's not used to having that winning feeling in recent months. And to beat a player of Murphy's calibre in the fashion in which he's threatening to do would be a major feather in his cap. Murphy, once again, can only sit and hope. Nothing he can do from his chair. But not necessarily a defeat if it is to be that, Neil, that will cause Murphy nightmares because he really 39. hasn't had very many opportunities to change things. He's got to shrug his shoulders and walk away sometimes. And I'm sure if it does go the way we think it will now, I warmly congratulate Luca Brussel. He's not there yet. And as you say, there will be a little bit of nerves. He's got to finish this job off. He wants to finish it off in... Supreme style. Red and high value colour. 46. Takes him over the line. He's on one to the middle. Forty-seven. So match ball. And this match is less than an hour old. Extraordinary. Yes, he doesn't want to do anything too flashy here. He's got to make sure this goes in, and then whatever he makes from there is a bonus. Well, I think whatever happens this week and whoever wins, you might see someone play well, but I don't think you see anyone play any better 54. than this, because this has almost been faultless from Luca Brussel. He's played out of his skin. And that red... Settles the argument beyond question. 
83 in the first frame, 83 in the second. 117 clearance in the third, and now this contribution, which should, barring Put something Russell, 55. surprising, be sufficient for a whitewash for the young Belgian. Murphy will play on, and that's perfectly understandable, but he's got a lot to do. 63 behind with only 51 left. Three snookers just to tie. Oh, my goodness. Well, that sums oh. up Sean Murphy's day, doesn't it? Murphy couldn't do much about that. Luca Brussel on the day was just too good. A sparkling performance from the Belgian to underline his quality. He's whitewashed the magician. 4-0. What a performance from Brussel. He's through to round two in style.